Yes, hello. Yeah, we have a Dell laptop. Yeah, this laptop is not switching on. Yeah, let's check the the voltage with our multimeter. Yeah, we have our 19 volts. So when we plug into the charger, are we going to have a display? And the answer is no, we are not going to have a display. Yeah, so let's check. Yeah, this one came from a local computer shop, computer repair shop. I can see the voltages are present, the 19 volts. And now when you have all the voltages present, it's time to remove the back, the, to disassemble the laptop and get the motherboard. When you have the motherboard, you can be able to check voltages easily, flipping one side to the other through the motherboard. But when it's on the laptop, it's not possible. The battery is out. Yeah, we have the motherboard with us. Mm -hmm. Plug in the the DC. It's not getting any hot, so it's not switching on. Okay. So I think I'll have to also to to remove these papers here so that uh, the coverings in black the see what is under those papers maybe there could be some water damage okay let me now take voltages 19 volts are we having our 19 volts yes we are having 19 volts it's present 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 so let's check on the screen connector yeah we have voltage uh, we having our 19 volts on the screen connector i'm looking for that voltage let me let me confirm Okay, let me see the three posts, our three volts. 
Yeah, we are having our three votes. Okay. Yeah, the basic voltages are present and now I, I don't know what to do now. The only thing I can think of is this BIOS chip here. Because the, the ME region, machine engine region, it's not, I think it's corrupt and it's not powering on the laptop. So before we conclude anything else, I think we should go ahead and first of all, check this, uh, check this chip here. Let's go under the microscope. Yeah, this is a common uh, is a common problem with Dells. Yeah, having a, I, I already can see a bridge. There's a bridge between pin number four and I don't know which which other component is this. I don't know this one here. I don't know whether you can see. There. So let's try to remove that bridge. Maybe this is the main cause as to why the laptop is not coming in. Yeah, pin number four and resistor, and that resistor was having a bridge. Yeah, that could be. That could be possibly a short circuit. So this BIOS chip has been worked on before. Maybe today, maybe a long time ago. Or maybe it's the, the technician tried to, to remove the BIOS chip or this chip here. And this is why this is why I keep insisting you, you every technician please try to have a microscope because some of these errors you're able to see with a microscope. This this uh, these components are very tiny. Sometimes it's not very possible to see with your bare eyes. Yeah, I still had another case. I don't remember which HP HP it was, just the other day where somebody was trying to to desolder a certain chip and he knocked off a resistor. So guys, microscope is very important when you are when you are soldering or desoldering components. And I think uh, the bridge is out now. Guys, this could be uh, I'm suspecting this is the only reason why this laptop this laptop is not coming on. Because I'm seeing all the other voltages. Yeah, I think it, it might be that simple by the way. Just having a bridge and that's it. And remember guys, on our BIOS chip, pin number four is the ground. Pin number four is our ground. So there's a very big possibility there was a, there, there, there was a shot. So let me try to clean a little bit. Yeah, you see that pin number four and that resistor, there was a bridge there. Let's do a little, a little bit of clean up here. Yeah, cleaning up the motherboard is very okay because you are also able to get a good vis visibility from the microscope. Unlike when you're having a lot of flux. So let's plug in the charger and see whether the, the bridge was the main reason as to why this laptop was not coming on. And I'm, I'm suspecting that could be the only reason. Yeah, the resistor must be having a voltage on it. If you see a resistor, there must be a power coming through that line. And when the resistor is connected to pin number four, that is ground and that is short to ground. And the machine is prone to not working so as I keep saying guys physical inspection on this motherboard is, uh, is very important try to physically inspect the, the, the motherboard keenly I've been able to detect a lot of errors been able to get faults on motherboard just through physical inspection without having to measure anything with, with my multimeter without having to do anything just physical inspection you get to see water damage, you get to see a shorted capacitor, you get to see a blown out capacitor, a blown out MOSFET, or maybe a missing component. Sometimes a, rip, uh, a ripped off pad, a power line. And also when soldering, 
the microscope is also very important because when you knock off a component you're able to see because the the, the microscope is giving you bigger bigger components than they are on the actual motherboard so i always recommend that please try to have a microscope if not possible microscopes sometimes are very expensive you can have a magnifying lens that still can work magnifying lens is a bit cheap it's it's, it's, it's cost friendly yeah so let's see so you can imagine the 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 guy from this computer shop was trying to imagine what could be the issue he could be thinking is a very major issue only that he forgot what when when he was soldering the the chip yeah the back the backlight keyboard is on he forgot that he he was not he did not realize that he formed a bridge between that resistor and pin number 4 and that is because he didn't he did not have a microscope so he could not see clearly yeah guys this is adele we have to wait for three boot ups it has, has to go for three times before there's a display on the screen yeah and i have a, i have a good feeling this motherboard is already working from experience i'm able to tell a motherboard that is already is already okay i think we are in the last boot up uh, yeah i can see the backlit keyboard and see as i told you the screen is okay guys so that's all for this laptop this is not this was not a very complicated job so guys subscribe like share let me know what you think down in the comment section yeah guys i'm grateful for those who are subscribing yeah supporting our work and that's all for today guys bye